Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I just want to welcome all of my new subscribers. Since my last video, I've gained close to 45 new subscribers. So hopefully you find some useful and valuable content here on my YouTube. If you haven't yet subscribed, please make sure to hit that red button and it'll notify you in the future of any new content going forward. So let's talk about the Ionic color system. Today, I want to show you how to use the Ionic color variables within the CSS file to create your own custom theme. I want to talk you through how we can generate new custom colors and a little tool that we can use to make this a bit easier. So as a whole, Ionic actually have nine default colors. These can be used to change the color of many different components within the Ionic framework directly on the component. Each color isn't just one color, it's actually a collection of many different colors. And these colors contain things like shades and tints. Each color in the Ionic color system contains properties such as a base, a contrast, a shade, a tint, and also an RGB property. So right now, I want to jump into the code and just show you where you can find these base colors in your Ionic apps. It's the same across every project that you start up with the Ionic framework. And then I want to show you how we can add some custom colors and the tool that we can use to quickly do this. So as you can see, I've just started up a blank Ionic project and added a few components just to show you some of the colors. On the left side in the code, I have navigated to source, theme and variables.css. In this file, this is where you will find all of the Ionic colors. So as we can see here, we've got the primary as well as the RGB, the contrast, the contrast RGB, the shade and the tint. And then we have secondary, tertiary, success, warning, danger, dark, medium and light. So these are all of our base Ionic colors that are used within all of the components throughout your app. Now, on the right hand side in this little test project here, you can see that all of these components are blue. And that is because the default color that Ionic components take is obviously the primary color. And the primary color, the base color is set to this 3880FF hex color. Now in the tab one, I have just listed out these components and in some cases, I've put a color equals primary just to show you that we can either specify the color or if we leave it blank, like the ion toggle, then it will automatically take the default color, which is primary anyway. So now, how do we customize these colors? Well, if we wanted to customize the base color, we would literally just edit this hex value. If you have a plugin in your VS code or your ID of choice to select hex colors or colors, this is just a little color picker plugin. So I can easily pick a new color. So let's edit this color and make it red, for example, and save that. And you can see on the right hand side, all of our colors change in our components that we've put on the page as well as the tabs. Now, what I want to show you here is something that we need to take a note of. If I was to press this button, you can see that it turns blue on the active state. And that is because we haven't properly specified the shade, the tint, the RGB and the contrast colors. So an easy way to get around this is to use Ionic's own color generator tool. So the color generator tool is available on the Ionic documentation. And I'm gonna to switch to it right now and create this color with all of the correct properties in the collection. So here we are with the color generator. I will include a link in the description for this, but we can just come into here and we can edit this hex value, change it to that red hex that we used. And then if we scroll down a little bit, we can just copy all of the ion color primary CSS and replace it in here. Save that. And now we have a properly configured ionic color. 
So that would be how you customize a color. What if we wanted to add a new color to our suite of colors within our Ionic app? Well, there's another nice tool that we can use and I will just show you that right now. So this is called the new color creator. And for this, I leave a link to this in the description as well. And as you can see, I've set up a new color. We just give it a name in this input field and we give it a hex value in this input field. And then what it gives us is the root variables. And then it also gives us another uh, piece of CSS, which is basically just a class. So first of all, we need to copy this. And if we go back to our code, we would just paste it in here. And we can add in a comment as well and just call this Alan's color. Paste that in. Now we should grab the class decoration and come outside this root and paste this just below. And what Ionic does when it sees a dot ion color class, it will automatically allow you to use the name of the color within all of the components directly. So now that we've set up our color, we can come into our tab one. And for example, on the ion button, let's change this color to our new color that we have actually just made. So let's say Alan's color and press save. And you can see now on the right hand side, we have this new color that we've made and placed it in our variables.css. And you can clearly see that our button is now displaying with that green custom color. We could repeat this for all of our color coordinated components here and paste that in and save. And there we go. We have changed the color of all of our components within our page. We could even go a step further and change the tab colors by just specifying the color on the tab bar or the icon within the tab bar. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. It's a really simple and slick way to uh, develop custom colors within your Ionic applications. All of the hard work is done for us, just like everything else in the Ionic framework. For customizing colors, we just go to that color generator, generate our, our CSS, and if we want to add new colors, we come into the color creator or the color generator and create our custom color put it into our variables.css and then we can use it directly on every component that has that color property within the component. So if you enjoyed this, please leave it a like, leave a little comment if you like, and remember to subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.